Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about division word problems. To divide, we will go ahead and use our GET strategy. G stands for number of groups, E, number of objects in each group, T, total number of objects. Let's go ahead and try some examples. Example number one. Mrs. Munir has 45 goldfish in nine bowls. How many fish were in each bowl? So in this case, you have the total number of fish. Our groups is the nine bowls. And we are looking for each, the number of fish in each bowl. Let's go ahead and make our problem solving model. For the answer stem, you will write, there are blank fish in each bowl. Let's go ahead and look at our important information. So we have the 45 goldfish, that's the total. We have the nine bowls, the bowls in this case is our groups. We are looking for the number of goldfish. So we are going to divide. So if you look carefully at the picture model, we have our T filled in. We have our G filled in. We need to find the number of goldfish in each bowl. So the E is what we need to find. And we need to divide. That is why you see these symbols over here. To find groups, you divide. To find each, you divide. And to find the total, you multiply. To make our picture model, we're going to go ahead and draw nine squares. We're also going to write our equation. 45 divided by 9 equals. To solve this problem, I will be using a multiplication chart. So we have 45 divided by 9. We first locate 9, our divisor. We find 45 and we slide up. So our answer is 5. 45 divided by 9 equals 5. There are 5 fish in each bowl. Let's go ahead and fill in our each. You could go ahead and draw 5 objects in each square. I went ahead and drew stars. Our answer is there are five fish in each bowl. Example number two. Mrs. Munir buys four orders of samosas. There are a total of 20 samosas. How many samosas are in each order? A samosa is a pastry that's filled with potatoes and peas. Some people also add chicken and a whole bunch of other stuff. But in this case, she's having the potato samosa. Let's go ahead and solve the problem using a problem solving model. My answer stem is there are blank samosas in each order. Our facts are there are four orders, which is the groups. There's a total of 20 samosas, which is the total. And we are looking for the number of samosas in each order. For our picture model, groups is the four orders. Each is how many samosas? And the total is 20 samosas. We will go ahead and divide. We're first going to draw four squares 
which tells us our four orders. Equation and solve work. We're going to go ahead and write 20 divided by 4. Total of 20 samosas divided by the four orders. We will go ahead and use a multiplication card to solve. First, locate the 4. Then you're going to slide over to 20. And then just look at the top and your answer is 5. There are five samosas in each order. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. And go ahead and fill in your picture model with five objects in each square. Let's try another example. Example number three. Mrs. Munir spends a total of 15 days visiting national parks. She spends three days at each park. How many national parks does she visit? Let's go ahead and make our problem solving model. Our answer stem is Mrs. Munir visits blank national parks. The important information is there's a total of 15 days and it's three days at each park. So we are looking for the number of parks, which is the groups. If you notice on our picture model, we cannot draw the groups because we don't know how many groups. But let's go ahead and solve the equation first, which is 15 divided by 3. To solve the equation, we will go ahead and use our multiplication card. We're going to first locate the divisor 3, slide over to the 15. And then just look up and we see our answer, which is 5. Mrs. Munir visits 5 national parks. So now you could go ahead and fill in your picture model. Draw your 5 squares. Fill in 3 objects in each square. And you have a total of 15. Now it's time to try some division task cards. Have fun. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.